hobbled a pace on his stump palms like crutches, all for the glory of her grace, the Duchess. about my pay. I've decided you should receive a reasonable share of the royalties. Payable, let us say, semi-annually. Meaning you're broke just now. Refix of Forhorn. So content to see you. Le Papillon Troubadour. Remember? Hey there. You know what? The whole Ravix thing? Only ever a joke. Call me Geralt, please. Geralt of Refier? Naturally! How did it ever escape me? You must know, I'm a devoted fan. <laughs> Thanks. Of Master Dandelion. I know the bards, every ballad in his cycle about the Witcher. Oh, I cannot believe my luck. Need something? From me? Indeed, a matter most magnificent. My coiffeur, Jean-Louis Lotofic, has gone missing. Now, you shall rescue him while I compose an epic ballad about it. Listen, fair folk, to a glorious tale of a missing friseur and a witter who'd prevail. What happened exactly? Claim the hairdresser's missing, but are you sure? Yes, yes. I've no doubt something's transpired. Something terrible, absurd. Jean-Louis is never late to work. He's punctual to a fault. I'm certain he'd be honored if I am the one to sing of his dramatic rescue. Who's gonna pay me to find this barber? I will. Such opportunities come knocking rarely. But you must take me with you. For I must transcribe all that occurs as it happens. Fine, but unusual as contracts go, it'll cost you more. Naturally. To be expected. Yes, by all means. As you wish. Fine, see what I can learn. Now, if you have to come with me, just one request. Stay out of the way. Mine and my swords. Of course. You shan't even notice me. Jean-Louis Studio is just there. Right here. Ah! What's the matter? I've hit upon the perfect ending. And all for the glory of her grace, the Duchess. I thought this was about a witcher and a coiffure. What's the Duchess got to do with it? Her grace can be as fickle as the cult she rides. Today, all remember my fine couplets at the tourney. Yet tomorrow, her illustriousness bought by her breakfast might demand a new epic poem. One must grab at opportunity before it flits away. Well then, where shall we start? At the door, by breaking it down. Something wrong, friend? Fucking grab a hold! Let's go inside. Empty pomade jar. Strong floral fragrance. <coughs> uh, very strong. That's... Mm, scissors are completely dull. No way he could use these to cut hair. Mm, scissors are completely dull. No way he could use these to cut hair. Any finds? This jar is empty too. Light blood. Knives flecked with flesh. This jar is empty too.
Locks untouched. No attempt at forced entry. The coiffer's log. A manicure, curling, Cintrian pendulum, Rivian ponytail, raftsman's dew. Hm, long out of style in Novigrad. Ah, uh, his appointments. Last one was a certain Lady La Pompadou. Know her? Yes, a dear old bird. Jean-Louis done her hair for a decade. Completely harmless. Sketch here. Looks like a map. This mean anything to you? Hmm. I may understand to eight points, but if so, there's not there. Just fields and meadows. Think I understand. As do I. Perhaps. Around he looked, yet all was quite proper. I see raises, pomades, but no blasted hair chopper. Mind being quiet for a minute? I think I might know what happened to the hairdresser. No evidence of a break-in, no signs of a struggle. To my mind, he just went out to find ingredients for his pomade. Looks like he ran out. Of pomade. Yes, indeed. He'd have gone into the meadows beyond the city to gather flower petals for it. Trolls must have devoured him. Or a cyclops. Splendid either way. Think you could find the place using his map? Naturally. Lead the way, then. Shone in its azure glow, sent marking times like courtesy to flow. He ventured beyond walls by vines entwined into the unknown, the poor barber to find. Gonna do that the whole way. Bidding them farewell, the gravestones must covered. They strode briskly on by doubts unencumbered. <sighs> Behold, the location from the map. Damn it, get back. <laughs> What beast was that? An archospore. Might there be more nearby? Who knows? And your sharpened senses, what do they say? That you'd rather turn and run. Oh, <laughs> a primo jest. Let us continue onward. I know you'll stand in my defense. You will, will you not? On to the second point on the map. The witch's plate flash juices spouted and poured. Covering all about in an archispore's core. No piece of the stylist fell from its bowels. The frisser had been nabbed by Ortel's most foul. There! Jean-Louis Pasquet! I'd recognize it anywhere. He was here. We can be certain now. A basket of flower petals. Same smell as the pomade. Grass is trampled. Multiple sets of footprints. A little blood. Seems you were right. He ran into trouble. Phew! What luck! I just hope it's not Cyclopes. Hot pressed to find a rhyme for that. So? On his trail yet, are you? Made of rock, trails gone cold, wandered deeper into the
into the cave. My, a talk so dark as to brought one to fear. Fear uninspiring, no rhymes at the ready. This croft is the land of trade. At the Coveri court, they have nothing else. No damn spirit. Pure poppycock, you beard mongler! The latest rage in some bong botched Kovir. We're in Nilfgaard, you bong munch! What did he do to you? What did he do? He quaffed me, gave me a duck's ass, an ape drape, a beaver paddle. I don't even know. So ashamed I couldn't attend the tourney. I'd have proved my valor. Mademoiselle Vivian that have read my prize. Then this scallywag with his talk of the rage missed my chance by the hair on my head. Got him back good from what I can see. That is but the start. I've not yet decided if I should snip off something more. It's hair. It'll grow back. Really want to kill a man because he gave you a bad cut. And who are you, God about to lecture me? A heraldic lord? We've a bleeding champion of the oppressed men. At him! Listen, children, a story you shall hear of a witcher who walloped a rogue knight's steady hair. I'll spoon out your entails and do the same to the hot handed head. Remember, you must win. I fall ready with the ending. Oh, come on. Never fear. I'm noting it all down! Papillon, let me hold his wounds. You saved me at the last second. You're welcome. Jean-Louis Ludovic, I presume. Let's get out of here before he... Quiet, both of you. I've got it. They froze in their fear, the knight's henchmen and squires. While his bowels set loose, heaven would spiral. The witcher cleft him in two lacerated, his neck swing the swine adroitly castrated. With one more caress from the witcher's blade, the knight's guts popped out, his breakfast betrayed. Then he hobbled apace on his stamp arms like crutches, all for the glory of her grace, the Duchess. Bravo. Almost believed you were there. Doesn't it seem so? At last, Master Tantilion has a worthy competitor. What about my pay? I've decided you should receive a reasonable share of the royalties. Payable, let us say, semi-annually. Meaning you're broke just now. 
<clears throat> I owe you a thousand thanks, Master Witcher. I, I'll gladly pay your reward. Not to mention trimming you when you see the need that come by. Mm, thanks. Take care now. Children, a story you shall hear of a witcher who walloped a rogue knight's steady hair.